I'm going to prep my face, put on foundation and concealer, and then I'll be right back. And I'm back with foundation and concealer done. So now I'm going to take the Cody Airspun face powder, and it's called Translucent Extra Coverage on the back. It's a loose face powder. And I'm going to take the cap off and tap some into the cap. It's like a, I'd say like a yellowy pink color. It's not like white. And then dunk my brush in it and tap it off. And then wipe it onto my forehead, my cheeks. Get all under here where I put foundation. And then the center of my face. I'm not hitting under my eyes or my chin yet because I'm going to bake with this powder. So I'm going to take my damp eco tool sponge and dunk it in there. And you'll see the powder pressed onto there. And just press it onto the area that you want to bake. And you'll see a buildup of powder. Now I'm going to finish up my makeup while my face bakes. And I will come back with my completed makeup and we'll talk more about why I like this product. And this is my completed look today. I use the Morphe 35F palette. If you guys would like to see a review on this, please comment it below. But today we're talking about the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I decided to get this at Walmart because I was almost out of my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I didn't feel like going to support. And I saw this and I was like, I've heard such great things about this. So I decided to get it. And let me tell you, it did live up to the hype. So, I will read you guys the facts from their from the Walmart website. And so from Walmart, this is $7 and it comes with 1 2 3 4 5 different colors and as I said before, I have the translucent extra coverage and it claims to It claims to be a loose face powder blended with air to provide ultimate coverage with a lightweight feel. And I will say, it does have a very lightweight feel. I'm not quite sure about the extra coverage, but I would say it gives me a nice filtered effect on my face. And so it says, powder particles are swirled with smooth racing streams of air for cloud-like softness, designed with tints that spread evenly throughout the powder, lying evenly and flat on your skin for a flawless finish. Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder can be used to set makeup or as a foundation. Long-lasting, dermatologist-tested, translucent setting powder will hide any tiny lines and wrinkles and blemishes. And I will attest to all of that, but the just using it as a foundation, because I like my medium to full coverage foundations. So this, I would give probably a 9.5 out of 10. I will not give it the full 10 because when you open it, you are instantly hit with this smell. It's like a grandmother floral scent. It's a little intense when you first open it. It's a little intense if you didn't know that's what it smelled like, which I forgot that that's what that smelled like but I will say it's a very good face powder and after using it for about a week you get used to the scent and I actually kind of enjoy the scent when it's on my face but it took a week to get used to it and if you're not into floral scents and it gives you a headache this is probably not the product for you but if you're looking for a great drugstore uh, powder for your face this is what you're looking for. Now I saw on YouTube that a lot of people were comparing it to the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I will say they're not similar at all, I believe. So the Cody Airspun has like a pinky yellow under uh, tone to it and this has more of a white yellow tone to it and also as you can tell the sizes are dramatically different. This one, the Laura Mercier is only one ounce and this is $32. And this one is 2.3 ounces and it's $7. So if you do the math, this is a great buy if you can get past the smell. I will say that I loved this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but I don't think I'll be buying it again after trying this drugstore option because I, whenever I would use my Laura Mercier, I felt like if my skin was at all dry or had like some crusty, uh, like, 
eye drips from my eye drops on my face, it would cling to that. It would cling to the dry patches. It would cling around like a little pimple. It would cling to like a little run from my eye drops. Whereas this, I feel like, as it said, gives a nice evenness to your skin and feels like it has a filter effect to me. And after using it for a week, I've, I've had all my different kind of skin types. I've had the hydrated, I've had the dehydrated, and I've had some blemishes pop up. And it just covers right over them and makes it feel like you have a filter on your skin. So 9.5 out of 10. They also both do have about the same ingredients. And as I'm looking at the ingredients for the Cody Airspun, like about the, let me count. One, two, three, four. The fourth ingredient is fragrance, and that's why it is so strong. But, as I said, if you can get past that, you're going to love this powder. So, if you liked this review, please comment down below. And comment down below if you would like a review on the Morphe 35F palette. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.